All right. Sound good? All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Brianna, although most people just call me Bree, and I'm going to be giving a lightning talk today with Jay. And we're going to tell you a little bit more about a group of people known as the GOSH community. Thank you, Jay. All right. So usually we use the word GOSH, but what the heck does that mean? What does it stand for? It stands for the Gathering for Open Science Hardware. So we are a group of people from all over the world that are dedicated to making open science hardware ubiquitous. So we have gatherings that have taken place in over four different countries. And when we aren't gathering in person, we're all talking online on our community forum. So we're all about networking and convening and holding space together as a group of people. OK. So we talked about the G a little bit gathering, but we've got the rest of it, open science hardware. And I'm not sure how many of you might be familiar with what science hardware is, open hardware, that sort of stuff. So let me just quickly explain what open science hardware is. So I am sharing this picture. I really like to have it up when I'm describing open science hardware because you can actually see inside of this camera trap right now. And so I think it does a really good illustration of proving uh, the purpose of open science hardware, which is having access to what is inside the tools that we use for science. So this is a camera trap that's often used for wildlife conservation. But now we can see inside of it, we can see the designs, we can see how to recreate it, and basically following the same principles as open source software, open source hardware is all about being able to use, see, and modify the designs that we use to make science hardware. And GOSH specifically is concerned with science tools. So I often think of microscopes, sensors, things like that, just any kind of equipment that you'd find in a lab or in some sort of scientific setting. So I won't get too into this because I know we've got a lot of lightning talks that are happening today, but just really quickly, some places that GOSH has met before. Our very first gathering was at CERN in Switzerland in 2016. And then after that, we went all the way to Chile at the year after. And then we actually were in Shenzhen, China as well. So we've already two different continents. And because we are such a global community, we have our events all over the world and convene people from all sorts of spaces. Right. right okay. Yeah. So um, I'll just be just briefly talking about the latest gathering that we had. It was last year, November, October, November. Yeah. Yeah. And it was happening uh, in Panama which is, uh, you know, in the uh, South America area, right? Yeah, Central South, America. Central America, sorry, Central America area. Uh, just last year, and as you can see, just a bunch of pictures of us hanging out, having a great time, gathering a bunch of geeks, just, you know, geeking out about open science hardware and everything science. And yeah, just, you know, as a little fun picture that we also put here, you can see that's in Leque, which is uh, the pretty much the uh, exotic sort of uh, national animal, right? Yeah. Like national, national animal of Panama. That was, you know, a huge theme at our gathering in Panama last year, which is something we people at, at uh, GOSH like to do when we have gatherings, is they like to get involved in the country's culture and kind of bring it together with the whole theme of GOSH and just essentially make the gathering more fun for everybody. So, yeah. Right, and now here is just a quick one minute video of uh, just what was happening at GOSH last year and just like everyone's brief input on like what was happening at GOSH 2022 last year. So, yeah. Open science hardware is about clear boxes. It's about being able to see everything inside of your tool, know exactly how it works, and know how it can be replicated for anyone in the world. This year, we brought the Gathering for Open Science Hardware to Panama. Um, I'm really excited about having us in Panama because there's almost no place on earth where you can have this very fascinating intersection, especially for a group that's as interested in science and technology as us, to have both of those right there, this massive globalization right next to a bunch of howler monkeys uh, making sounds in the jungle. Probably the most important thing about the GOSH community is making these connections between all of these wonderfully strange individuals who are all incredibly active and excited about sharing their thing and finding outlets and communities for them to share with. Yeah. 
Okay, so yeah, that was the video, and over here is just a QR code in case you guys are interested to find out more about Gosh and our community. Uh, yeah, this is just basically a QR code to a web page that has a welcome package. It just lists a bunch of information about Gosh. It's essentially like an e-catalog if you think about it, and you can just check it out. You have a bunch of projects up there, and yeah, and if you can't access the uh, QR code, of course, you can use the website as well. So yeah. And so we won't take up any more further of your time because you're more lightning talks. But yes, if you're free, please do come check us out at our booth, which is all the way right at the back, right next to the exit uh, on that side of the, uh, the room. So yeah, thank you all for your uh, time and attention. And uh, we just hand it over to the next speaker. Thank you.